I'm going to look at what the calculation of IAG, calculation of IAG, which is called the index of hydrogen deficiency. So IAG uh, tells the degree of what unsaturation an organic compound is, whether the what the organic compound is having a single bond, a double bond, or a what a triple bond, or it contains a what ring. So with IAG, you can detect the numbers of what bond or double bond or triple bond. A compound as you get you can predict it. So we have two different approach in calculating the index of hydrogen deficiency. First of all, we have the what the rule following the rule aspect, which I don't to bore you with. Then we have, we have what the formula aspect, formula approach, which was very straight to the point. So it's the formula aspect I will be teaching here. I'll be solving so many of them. So what you want to do here is so what make sure you out your pen, your notebook, then your calculator. You get make sure you have to watch your calculator here yeah, because you want to what time straight. So the first thing you want to do is to what look at your formula to calculate what I H D. So I H D is equals what two C minus uh hydrogen minus what halogen plus N plus two. Over what? Two. Over two. So now let's start defining uh, this one here. So C equals what? Numbers of carbon. So numbers of carbon in the what? In the molecule is what? Is what? C. Then H is what? Numbers of what? The uh, hydrogen. Numbers of what? Hydrogen. Hydrogen, I mean. Mass of what hydrogen, then H D H A L is equal to what numbers of what halogen. So the halogen can either be a fluorine, a chlorine, a bromine, or what iodine. You get so the numbers of all these elements in the compound is known as H A L. The N is what numbers of the five elements. Numbers, numbers of group five what elements you get. So this M is what number of five elements, and number of five elements are what you see is what nine trilogy and what phosphorus. Nine trilogy and what phosphorus. I want to want to do here. Our uh, group six elements are not used in what calculating IAG, so they, they have no effect. On IAG what calculation. So you want to draw this question. I'll put this in down so I can start solving. Now let's take this example here. So like what I say, please go uh, follow me along as so you do what try to what understand this better. So at any moment you can pause the video and solve uh, if you're going to get the answer. So solution solution here. So I want to take what first one A. You will see it's H it's C L O two X. So what we so here carbon is I mean carbon is what is eight. Right, you have to write that. Hydrogen is what is eight. Chlorine, chlorine is what halogen. So how many halogen we have here? We only have we only have one. So the halogen is one. Then and M is what numbers of what the group five elements. And the group of five look like that be nitrogen or phosphorus. So you have phosphorus here, which is what one. Now you can see that oxygen and sulfur are not used in in IAG, so we ignore them. Yeah, so IHD here yeah, go to be what two C. You now you put it in brackets. You get that minus hydrogen is what is eight. The minus the allergy is what is one is one right the, the group, group five elements is what is one plus it's going to be a plus one plus what two over what two now we get to this point here you can use your words calculator to get your answer straight so it will be two times eight you put what is uh, you put in a bracket minus eight Minus one plus one plus two 
Uh, here we have 10 divided by what? 2. So that is my IHDA is what is? IHDA is what is 5. Yes, IHDA is what is 5. So the degree of concentration is much because it's what is 5. Now, when you calculate, when you calculate any compound and calculate any, when you calculate IAG and be, it's leaving with zero, in that uh, the compound does not contain a double bond, you get all a ring, then it's, the compound is always saturated, you get. So it means that the possibility is much, so it's, what, it's highly what unsaturated. Let me tell you what the second one. So the second one is what? C C H thirteen N C L two O. Now you can pause the video here and try to do it yourself and see if you are going to get the answer. Okay, yeah, pause the video and drop your answer in the comment section. Please, if this video is helpful, please I would I would like to hear from you at the comment section. Just type this video is helpful and you need more of this. That will tell me that a lot of people who are watching me that really love this content and will see love to see more of this content. It's very important for me to hear from you because I know that it's don't boast that it's your side. It's human, it's human being that is actually what watching this video. So I would really like to hear from you. Please don't ignore. So now let's let us let us let's solve this one together. Carbon. Carbon is what? It's six, right? Hydrogen is 13. It's 13. Nitrogen, they will what group group what the group five element is what is one right the allergen here we have two here we have two also is not used so so let's apply the formula here so two carbon right minus the I number of hydrogen is 13 here minus the allergen allergen how many allergen we have two then uh nitrogen which is what group five elements we have what plus one right plus two all over what two so look at something here when you get to this point here please when you get to this point can you use your calculator to what get the answer get so, so you avoid error Minus 13, minus 2, plus 1, plus 2, 0. So that is the IAG here, you go to go to 0, because if you give me 0, 0 divided by 2, you go to go to 0. That is, the IAG here is 0, meaning that the compound is what saturated. There's no, there's no double bond, there's no double bond, and the compound is not a ring. Do that. So that's what it means. So let's look at what this one is C. So we have C five H seven N two B what O. Right? Carbon is what? Carbon is five. Hydrogen is what? Seven. Uh, nitrogen is what is two. Which one group what? Five elements. The allergen. Remember, bromine is part of the allergen, which is what one. So now let's apply the formula here. R H D equals to what? 2 5 uh, minus 7 minus what's the alloy chain, right? Then plus the group what? Final visual N is what? 2 plus 2 over what? 2. So let's do that first. Plus 7 plus minus one plus two plus two six so six divided by three six divided by three so my i is here is supposed to work three you see that that is if you got the answer please leave at the comment section i really want to hear from you so let me look at the last one d d part Then we have the which was C thirteen H eight I two. Yes. So carbon is what 
is 13 hydrogen is what is 8 halogen is what is 2 so there is no uh, group stable level so we know it so RHD here is equals to IG equals to IG equals to 2C which is 13 minus the hydrogen is what is 8 then minus what halogen halogen is 2 remember this one is going to be a little bit plus plus 2 over what 2 so what you want to do here Minus eight minus two plus two eighteen divided by two. Say that was nineteen. So let's do to do minus eighteen minus two minus two plus two eighteen divided by two. Say that was nine. I is this was what nine. You see that? So, we want to solve more practice problems. If you have followed this video, then, uh, then you should be able to solve this question here. So, this will be your take home assignment for you to try. You get. So, make sure you take this thing down and apply the formula and see if you are going to get the answer. So, if uh, there's a video there I would like to, to go and check. Check any of this video here that you're having difficulty with in organic chemistry. Then, Watch it, I will see you uh, in the other side.